Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share a full day of eating video with you. I have debated sharing my full day of eating while I've not been on keto, while I've been doing my intuitive eating and I'm very hesitant to kind of encourage you to not be on keto if keto is something you want to do and I don't want to go and just glorify cheats as they call them. I don't like the word cheats. Again, today is all about intuitive eating and I want to share the meals that I've been eating while I've been off keto, what I've been doing, how I've been doing it. And today's the last Wednesday in April and Monday the 1st of May I will be starting back strict keto and I want to share that process with you as well but I just there's the whole six or so weeks that I've been off keto, there's just two foods that I've wanted to have, which for various reasons haven't found their way onto my plate, and I'm going to have both of those today, and it's just, I want to intuitively eat them, show you what I mean, and how I'm doing it. Um, so, I'm going to start the day with breakfast. Um, all this time that I've been off keto, I've kind of still a keto breakfast, as you'll see, um, because... I love them. I love eggs for breakfast. I love having my hot chocolate with butter in it. It starts my day off. I'm not hungry for hours afterwards. And so that's what I am going to do. I'm going to make my keto breakfast of while in intuitive eating and we'll take it from there. And I've just made our hot chocolates to have with breakfast. I use my low carb hot chocolate and some butter and I've made one for myself and my husband. That's our drink. We have it every single morning regardless of whether keto or not. We just absolutely love it. So for breakfast I'm having one of my old favourites. I've got mushroom sautéing with heaps of garlic and I'm just going to let this reduce down and then add some fried eggs to it. And that is my breakfast. I'll show you once it is complete. And that's my breakfast. All those mushrooms. Oh, I love them. Had a little sneaky taste. So full of flavour. You just need garlic, heaps of butter, and you've got a beautiful breakfast. It's fried eggs. One had a little insulin over there, but we won't speak about that. And that's my breakfast. And I will catch up with you through the day. So that was a big yummy breakfast. It will fuel me for morning out. I've got to take the boys to Chadston and get some winter clothing. It started to finally get cooler here in Melbourne and we need some jumpers and other things. So I am going to have lunch out and about and I'm going to have those two items that I've wanted to have for ages. And again, I don't want to kind of rub it in about non-keto foods, but this is how I'm intuitive eating. So if you don't want to watch me having other foods, then just skip ahead a few minutes but next I will be sharing the foods I have been wanting to have for ages that I'm going to enjoy intuitively no regrets no guilt today and um, just move on from it right, this is one of I uh, wanted to have ages one of these cheese tarts they're teeny little things but yeah I'm gonna get one now and this is what I've got I'm so excited I've been wanting to try one of these for ages a little custard pastry kind of tart thing, cheese tart, yum! It's kind of like a cheesecake, it is so just, mm, the pastry is beautiful, it's not too sweet and you can see it's just a teeny little thing and this is all I have wanted to try and now I've tried it, I can happily go six weeks without having anything like this. Yummy! Did you like yours? You had a little, what have you got? A chocolate croissant, is it good? I ate the whole thing. You ate the whole thing. And I ate my whole um, custody tart thing. And it was really nice. And now we're going to go shopping. So I'm going to... I find that works best. That I have something sweet. And then I do super a lot of walking. And it kind of straight away uses up the sugar. And I don't have a sugar rush. Um, so I'm going to walk around. And then I will show you what I'm going to have for lunch. And this is what I've been wanting for ages. Korean fried chicken. And this was the other dish I've been craving. It's the four of us. I'm not going to eat it all. I'll have a piece or two, but it's crispy. Crispy, super crispy chicken. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. That chicken was amazing. It was so crispy, so tender inside. I've had a couple of pieces and I feel comfortably full. This is when intuitive eating comes in. There's still a few pieces left, but I'm quite happy not to have them because I'll have them another time. When next time I have my intuitive eating keto break from keto, um, I've had what I've had. I feel good. I'm not going to stuff myself just because it's there. And I'm going to move on. We're going to do a bit more shopping and then I'll catch up with you the next time I have something to eat. 
Okay, we are back from the shops now and as I've been filming my day I've realised that my six weeks of off keto kind of look a lot like keto and I kind of have one meal or one food a day which is not keto so today that was well two foods the chicken and the little pastry that was something there were both things I really wanted and I thought next time I go to Chadston I want to have both of them because I'm probably not going to go again before the new month comes around and I've been wanting both of those or not wanting I'm not really even craving them but I've both of them every time I go past the oh maybe one day I'll have them and it's been since the new Chadston opened when I started keto journey last September October so I'm glad I was able to have them and I can happily go the next six weeks without having crispy chicken or well, I can make my own crispy keto crispy chicken I've shared a recipe before but I can go without eating food out and about I'm very happy with that and so the rest of today is just going to be keto friendly that's really the point I was trying to make is that um, I found that most of my days are keto meals and then I'll have one or two non-keto foods if I'm having a roast I'll have roast potatoes if I'm going out and about I might have some chips I might have food that's not keto friendly and I found that doing it this way my weight is either stay the same or I've lost a little bit or stay the same um, so I'm quite happy plateauing during this non-keto period and then I'm hoping, fingers crossed, um, during the keto period I lose more than I had been losing before. But we'll just see what happens. It's kind of my hypothesis but we'll just see and I will share the journey with you. Um, so all that's left to do today is share my dinner. I am making corned beef silver side. It's bubbling away and I will show you my dinner plate once it is all ready. And this is my dinner to end my day of intuitive eating. I felt like greens, so I've got a big plate full of spinach and I've topped it with my corned beef silver side and some sour cream. The cat's just jumped up onto the table. So I'm going to go and have dinner and keep the cat away from my food. Um, I'm going to have dinner. Thanks so much for watching this full day of eating, showing you the intuitive eating. If you like the video, make sure that you leave a like and subscribe for more inspiration. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.